everybody. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today will be a little bit of a quicker video. I wanted to come in with a free pattern. Free, 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 free. Yes, free. Easy breezy free pattern. Um, perfect transitional pattern. It's a top. I actually have it on right now. Um, also stay tuned for Sunday's video. Um, I have a sew along for you, which will include a giveaway. So make sure that you, um, tune in for Sunday's video. That's all the little nugget I'm going to drop for you for Sunday's video. Um, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I did have to switch things up this month. Um, a few announcements actually next week, Wednesday will be another exciting announcement. So, um, fun so long coming up on Sunday and then, um, exciting announcement come next week, Wednesday. So welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you have not subscribed, this is your first time watching me. Make sure that you hit the bell and don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out. So. I am coming in today with a quick, quick, quick um, review of a new um, free sewing pattern and it is by Style Sew Me Patterns. Now you all know I have um, spoken about Style Sew Me Patterns quite a few times. Um, not just during Black History um, Month pattern designers because this is a black pattern designer um, company and owner Erin Shields. <clears throat> you all probably follow her here on YouTube. Um, but. Um, she, um, I've talked about her patterns, uh, previously, actually the most recent one I made was the style. So me, Naomi dress, I'll pop that up right here. Um, which I get to wear for date night coming up this weekend. But anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to come in and just share with you this free pattern. So if you are on style, so me newsletter list you already know about this pattern. This is the Suzanne. Um, it is. Um, SSM 1026. Now for um, those who have already read the newsletter and everything you know that Style So Me will be changing the naming convention um, of her patterns um, because many pattern companies come out with the same pattern names and sometimes you can get it can get lost in the shuffle so she wanted to put the SSM in front of her uh, patterns going forward so you will um, if you're already part of her newsletter list and following her on Instagram and whatnot you you um, Style so many patterns you already know um, that that is coming up so she released in July um, the Suzanne and it is a free pattern is a very beginner friendly pattern by all means now here's the thing I am NOT going to tell you all of the 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 significance behind the naming of this pattern if you have not read that in her newsletter or on her um, website i will link to it down in the description box go read it trust me it, it is good it, it is a a very heartfelt touching story and you will want to um, read the genesis behind the name uh, suzanne for this pattern but what i will say it is super easy super easy it's only four pieces so you got your front your back um, and then your front neck, uh, facing pieces, your back neck, neck facing pieces. Now for those who do not like doing, um, uh, facing pieces, remember my little trick that I share with you, how I do my, um, facing pieces. So they do not flop around. Um, I know some people, uh, skip over patterns that might have facing pieces, um, or they opt to do bias binding, or, um, some people want to maybe fully line the top. I wouldn't say line this, uh, maybe depending on the fabric, you could always switch up the fabric because the fabric I'm using a, an Ankara fabric and this fabric came from, um, Femi fabrics. Um, I will leave the name here on the screen and this was bought, this was in a haul I bought. What was that? You guys, you saw that video it was maybe a month and a half ago, July, it was back in July. And so, um, I am, uh, finally using it, uh, for this now. The different types of fabric suggested is um, our uh, cottons, um, cotton uh, type uh, fabrics, um, and cotton blends, linen, poplin, sateen uh, for this. It does so that gives you the impression it's a little bit more of a structure, but I can see this um, actually 
because of the way that it's made it is to make it more drapey you could do this in a in a chally. I would I would say go for it. I most certainly would say go for it because you do have your grown on sleeves. You don't have to worry about insetting sleeves. You have this beautiful um, inset here, this V neck here on the inside, um, and as a feature too at the bottom. If you can see, there is a slit, so it's high in the front, um, low in the back with that side slit there very nice very easy to put together um i will for those who are newer to the channel and i talk about facing pieces and how i do my facing pieces let me just share with you um i believe it's the back pattern piece that i shared how to get that nice clean 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 finish on the inside and then i'll show you a clip of how it looks once it's um, completed on the inside okay so for those who are new to seeing me talk about the clean finish for the um the facing pieces this just a little tr uh, tip that you can do so with ankara you really can't tell what's the right and wrong side so on um this particular fabric we'll just say that this is the right side of the fabric and then what you're going to do is open that all the way up that is the back facing piece and you will do this for any facing piece that you have and then your interfacing, obviously this is woven interfacing, you want to put on the right side, the the right side of the, um, well I call it the right side of the interfacing, which is the side that um, you would normally see. And what you would do is, so the bumpy side, the side that um, is the glue part, will be facing up. And what you're going to do is pin all the way around. And as you can tell, I just used Wonder Clips, but you can use pin. If you have a more delicate fabric, I will say use Wonder Clips instead of pins. But at any rate, and then what I'm going to do is the pattern calls for half an inch seam allowance, but I'm just going to um, sew these edges together. Remember, this is the bumpy side facing up. So for me, I call them right sides together. The smooth side of the interfacing against the right side of the um, facing piece. And then I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay, so I have stitched all the way around. Depending on your fabric, if you have a curved piece, you might wanna clip into the curve. Um, but I've done this several times on this type of fabric before and I have no need for that. Um, so let me take this over to the iron and show you what that looks like. So you are turning it over now. The glue side is now up against the wrong side of the fabric. And try to turn it in ever so slightly like this. So you don't get any of the... Um, interfacing showing on the opposite side so then you go ahead and press and you will have a little overhang don't worry about that you clip that off or it will just get caught in the seam because this is the part that attaches to the neckline so this is how it looks from the back once it's sewn together as you can tell it's quite clean that's the back and here is the front Really so you see not bad at all that is like super simple a way that you can have that nice clean finish on the inside of course you can also do bias binding um, to finish off your edges um, the pattern calls for you to turn those um, the edges up but I, that's just how I prefer to finish off my facing pieces now when we go over the size chart and I will try to also uh, pop it up here on the screen. It goes from an extra small to a 3XL. So then that starts from a 34 bust up to a 53 bust. And starts from a 30... Uh, six and a half hip to a 55 inch hip. I chose to actually uh, grade mine from an extra large at the top because I'm smaller at the top and then around the bust area, my typical thing, I grade it out to um, the 2XL or the XXL, um, which is a 49 bust, 41 waist and 51 hip. And as you can tell, I ha you'll see the pictures. I have plenty of room um, in this top, but that's how I wanted this top to fit for me. Now I chose to um, 
the fabric actually the stripes um go the other or the design goes the other way but i didn't want to do that i wanted the lines to go um uh up and down here as you can see uh so yeah i like the way that turned out and um you know all of the design in the front and in the back as you can tell me up so i am super happy with that um so far as sewing time the sewing time is maybe it'll take you an hour and a half let's say two hours now on her website she said uh, um about an hour but if you are a beginner sewer it probably might take you just a if you like super new to sewing it probably take you a little bit more than that so but i would say two hours tops an hour you can't get this sewn up in an hour it took me what an hour and a half because i was doing um as usual some other things um as well but so far as the instructions instructions are super short and sweet um there is nothing complicated and the thing about um pattern companies that offer free patterns is that you can see and get a feel for how they write their instructions for <clears throat> how the flow um how they flow in their designs and different things of that nature and um it helps you to get comfortable with that pattern company with that pattern designer so then when they have new patterns that come out and different things of that nature that might be a little bit more skill advanced then you will feel comfortable with going with it because you can kind of already understand the flow um, of the pattern so I would say once again, um, super easy. Everything is sewn at a half inch seam allowance. Um, so which just makes things go by really fast. I actually like when patterns use half inch or three eighth inch seam allowance instead of five eighths. Commercial um use five eighths, but you know that's kind of, that's a historical um thing. Uh but anyway, so yeah, um I thought everything I have don't have a lot to say um i told you where i got the fabric from it's only four pattern pieces it is free perfect transition into fall um and winter um it's still hot 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 here in texas y'all so um this is great for me this uh this is this is a perfect all year round top if i'm honest um for me um and let me see. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to um, tell you. I did actually surge everything here. Um, it tells you to, how does she tell you? Some, uh, uh, the size things, I don't think uh, it tells you how to finish them off. But for my sleeves, I did turn them up um, a quarter inch twice and then sewn, uh, sewed it down so it's not um, surged. And I did the same thing with the hem. I just turned it under twice um so it's a clean edge and then um the other uh pieces the the front middle um back uh center seam front center seam back center seam and side seams are all surged so yeah that's how i did it i like i told you super duper quick easy simple and best of all it is free so go ahead and head over to styles on me um website download read all about the 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 name uh the reason behind the name trust me it, it is a very touching story and then go ahead and jump on her newsletter list and download this free pattern it is free and i will say for me since it is free i know a lot of y'all like to print at home and all that i didn't do that i did send mine out to pdf plotting because i had some other stuff to uh, send to pdf plotting so i just sent it to pdf plotting and so that's what i did <laughs> <laughs> so that is it everybody if you have any questions please let me know leave them down in the um, comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as possible but stay tuned for sunday for the fun so along and next week Wednesday, wednesday for a special announcement all right everybody thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video on your way out i greatly appreciate it you all have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you on sunday bye